Hey, welcome to a foreigner in the Philippines. I'm just having a walk around in our little red house and hard to see what we've been working at because it's all been just making good, doing repairs, filling cracks, getting things painted, uh, rough painted at the moment. But I'm just in here now and looking at the difference that a piece of, just a piece of wood will, will make. If you look there at the lighting, I talked about the lighting the other night, and if, you're not, if you can actually see the source of light, it isn't as good an effect. So, just experimenting there, just a little piece of moulding put in front. And the closer that you put it to the light, the, the more the effect is seen. But obviously that's just a little piece of wood that's been put up there. It's not um, anything finished. You'd obviously make something much nicer than that as a finished item. But there, I did the same here, look. And it's the difference, the difference between it looking like that and looking like that where you can see the actual source of light. So trying to make it so that all of these little details are taken care of and I'm, I'm in here in my bathrobe right now looking at all of these things and I'm looking at the work that was done today and yesterday a lot of work done patching up um, making good uh, repairs so if you look there all up into here quite detailed work and quite labor intensive to get that looking right. right. And the more that you do on that, the more the corner actually disappears. See that corner there, look. Still got to have the, fine, the final patching in there with the corking and pressing in and sanding down. And you can actually see, see the joint come over here where a lot more work has been done and the actual join, the corner, disappears. Same as over here. Now anything, anything that's a gap that's dark ruins the effect. So there you've got some uh, case where there's still some moulding to be put in there to, to actually finish off. And it's very dark and it spoils the effect. If you come on to where the extra work has been done and all of that has been moulded uh, sorry, has been corked and finished and it really is a huge, huge difference. Look there, there's a quarter round moulding being put there between the beam and the ceiling itself, which I don't think we've actually done just yet. Now, wrong again. Half, half of the, the moulding has been put up and then you go over to the other side and you get the perfect, the perfect example of what just a piece of corner moulding will do in terms of making it look finished. So, so this is the kind of thing we're closing, we're closing the gap now between where we're standing and where we want to be in terms of moving home. Because this is our home, uh, has been... Um, ever since we got, or almost since we got to the Philip uh, to, to Bahal. And, and this is where we've lived. Uh, it wasn't nearly as fancy as it is now. It wasn't nearly as nice. We did do some work, but we lived in it, it more in a camping sense. None of this out here was used. Beth commandeered this space which is actually the dining, this is our dining nook and Beth plonked the chair here and this was her desk and that meant that we never used the dining nook but we're going to change that and we made a nice work area short on lighting here but we made a nice work area for Beth which I'm going to uh, do some work on uh, designing a light system for her 
here. Plus, I, I don't know how this got away from me, but uh, there's only one double socket there. Should have been at least two of those double sockets, so another one over there will, will have to be done. Maybe a box, a box there, and come off and come down and have one there too. On this side, I offered to do this for Beth. She declined to have it. Of course, she's not, uh, she's not into design work, so she doesn't think in terms of these things. Now these, I got the electrician to put me a double box there. First and foremost, to supply that light. Now if you're, if you're drawing, you need light coming from the side. Now for this, this could be a, the desk of a left-handed person or a right-handed person. If you're right-handed, you need to have the light coming from the left over onto your drawing. Uh, it doesn't need to come, it shouldn't come from upper, right? because then you get the shadow of your hand on, on the paper. But if it comes from this side, there we are, it comes across it comes across the uh, the sheet of paper. So that I especially liked that that came about and that was always going to be a design area where things are thought out and put onto paper and so on. And that's why I wanted that. I wanted that uh, I wanted that there to be something that you would enjoy looking at. Beth is now coming around to appreciating that kind of thing uh, but it's a slow it's a slow thing she's uh, still very much on the practicalities of things and she hasn't had this this kind the amount of trouble and effort that I've gone to to make this into a nice area she hasn't experienced that before Like if you really want to argue the point, all of this is completely unnecessary. This is just stored, okay? Um, the quarter round is is uh, is there, and the other mouldings are there. Um, but all of this is is unnecessary if you look at it from um, certainly from Nana's point of view. She can't understand what. Why are there why are there so many lights? Can't can't you see? <laughs> so these are the kind of, um, of obstacles that you will be up against. And over there, look, uh, that the, that has really done almost everything that I would uh, want it to do. It's reduced the amount of light a little. But it's also blocked off you being able, anybody being able to see the actual source of light, and that's what I wanted. So all of that, there's a switch there that if you want to have, this is the switch here, and it's on the side and not very conspicuous, because they're all being run surface, less than ideal, I know. You can turn out both of the lights. Can leave one of these on and then when you retire at the end of the night you go to bed up the stairs or as they would say in London up the apples and pears rhyming slang that when you come up here into the bedroom the switch is just here totally logical and you can turn the downstairs lights off so that's that's a very good idea suggested but so a two-way switch suggested by Ryan now I also did that little experiment and put some molding here just a piece of wood to block off being able to see the light and it makes a difference of course what it does is it softens the light overall so it is light but there's no intense spot of light now if you're in bed that will be fine. Um, we don't have a switch for turning off the lights. Now that that would be um, a minus. 
but that's not uh, not a huge problem for me. You can switch off there and if you've got side lights here this is going to have cabinet work here. Cabinet work coming out, coming to there and going along, going along right to about here. And then I'll put a platform for that so that we can come in before I've done all of the building of the cabinet work, the extra cabinet work that's going in here, I can get it up the stairs, I'll make sure of that, and, and I, can, I can install it later. The, all of this wall will be cabinet work of one kind or another, and it will come into an L shape here come across and I'll put the footing in for that and the basic platform of three-quarter uh, block ply and I will lay that hopefully if I can get a full day's work in tomorrow I'll lay that tomorrow and that will come right along now the whole idea of putting in a platform that's that's right now is that we will be able to go on before all of that cabinet work is done and as long as we have all of this kind of thing molding put on here and on the windows and the, the bed is basically all made up we can actually go ahead and move in now later we would be able to put the cabinets in one by one and if we've gone and put that uh, the base down then we can build onto that and, I, and, and that will be an advantage. That's, that's the purpose there. Now, why would we need to do that? Why wouldn't we just leave it as it is? Well, because we're not going to come in on the floor like this. We're going to fix the floor so there's no creaking, hopefully. And then this is, is going to be laid in the nice uh, wood tongue and groove floor tiles that we have and um, they're, very, they're actually very expensive uh, for our budget anyway they're very expensive so uh, what I've tried to do is minimize the amount of um, unnecessary floor tiling that has to be done so if we're coming out to this level here this is about the width of a coat hanger if you look at it coming down like that so coming to here is about between 18 and 20, 21 maybe inches out. So that platform that I'm talking about would be in this kind of wood and that would all be fixed in and fitted and leveled and, and ready to go. Cabinet work can go on top of that at any time but I'm not going to put my expensive floor tiles down underneath the cabinet work, why, why would I do that? So in, in putting that platform there, we can move in because we'll be able to lay the floor tiles before all of the cabinet work is done. So that's the, the idea. And I still go along with my, my um, design concept for having this as a seated area, um, a cabinet which is uh, storage and on top would be an upholstered uh, seat below this window. So that's where we're at right now. These beams will all be disguised. They'll be hidden. Uh, on here, it will come down. It'll come down like this. It'll take in the, the top of the post, come back up, and it'll come back up level about with the underneath of the of this beam so that it covers the beam and makes it look like it's part of the bed and then of course I'll have to come along and do this as well and we'll have to decide whether I'm going to go right up to the ceiling with it like this right along or whether I'm going to make it so that it's still a beam all decisions that will unfold as we go along but it gives you an idea of how things are going and I'm really over here I was coming over here to to have a look 
Um, <laughs> believe me, if you were if you were watching me, you would wonder why I wasn't doing anything. But uh, when I do come, I'll come up here and and I'll stand motionless and silent for <laughs> quite a time while I try to work out exactly what I want to do and, and how I want to do it. But I'm pleased now with the light softened down by such a simple solution. Simple solutions are the best and usually the ones that you come back to actually. See but the same, you've got the same detail work has been done here. See how the join between the ceiling. I mean, there could be a, a normally you'd have a crown molding there, but uh, it's an expense that we can't actually go to at the moment. These things they pile up very, very quickly and add to the cost very, very quickly, so it's easy to get carried away. So that's where we are. We're bare bones apart from the bed. We are bare bones, but the lighting is in. Still got, as I said, I still have to do the molding around the windows, two windows there, and then one, still calling this a window. Um, and as somebody suggested with an AC unit going at night, we'll have a fairly heavy curtain on there and on the doorway still have to do something on the doorway to decide how best to put something on it in terms of a frame without reducing let me find the switch for the bedroom yeah I don't want to reduce the width of this any more than it is now because it's already fairly narrow this is a small person's house okay <laughs> neither Beth nor I are um, Oh, big guys. So there we are. And you can get a close-up here of the quarter round, which has been put on. And this, what has finished this edge here, is a half round. And these are all off-the-shelf mouldings which you can buy, which can add great detail to, to, well, to the work that you're doing. All of these are off the shelf mouldings. This is three quarters by three quarters. Now I actually ran out of uh, three, qu three quarters by three quarters. They didn't have it at, the, at my supplier. Um, so I had to think uh, creatively in different ways. And that's when I started using the half round, which I finished the edge of the staircase in half round and the same on the other side. Still got some caulking to be done there, some sanding and finishing work. And I've worked out a little effort which will go here. Once, once we are operating as a home and work and no work being done, then this will be a lot easier to keep clean. I'll be doing, once the whole place is blitzed in white, uh, perhaps you can see there, perhaps you can see the different shades. This, this I, I personally given many coats of white, two or three, maybe four, even four coats of white paint. Over here you've got one coat of paint and then the coat of paint that covers the repair. So you can see that white paint has to be really white paint. Can't, you can't uh, economize on only putting on one coat. On the other hand, if you look at this, you can still, this is only one coat of this, of this color. It's only one coat there. It's two or three coats here, as is this one too. See, but this one needs to be coated again. But probably two coats will be more than enough for that. 
as, as we've got there and there and here. We've still got uh, a fine painting to do. I was really at the stage where I was looking at how this would look. I wonder how this would look. Try this colour and this colour. Try this colour because it matches in with the desk. And then decided as I built more, built that effect on all of the pillars. This will be green. You can see this is the same colour here as the desk. So I wanted to integrate the whole, uh, the whole house on these four basic colours. White, obviously. This, this is marketed as an off-white. Um, it's nothing like an off-white for me. It's, it's, it's almost, uh, it's a kind of a pink, but not, uh, not uh, princess pink, okay. Um, but there's a, there's a great deal of uh, a pink feel about this, which I really liked. And then this one. So one, two, three, four basic colours. One, two, three, four basic colours. And that's, that's what the whole house will be. It's a very small house from this door, from this, this doorknob. If you were to look along and count your footsteps right to the doorway here and what is looking like a black hole at the moment because there's no light on <clears throat> right to this step is 25 feet now if you if you times that 25 feet by 12 feet it doesn't actually come out at a great deal of footage if you said it was only 10 feet wide that would allow for my terrible math to uh, 250 feet square feet wouldn't it uh, but it's 12 feet so it's 20 foot by 25 foot by 12 feet and it's designed like an RV where you have the center is kept fairly clear and then everything that you need is off to either one side or the other and the, the the one that the, the area which has the least going on is this area which is the living room area so television up on here it's a couch there'll be a love seat there this is the love seat uh, it looks a lot better than that when it's finished <laughs> I'll re-upholster all of that it, it looked fine when we were using it, it looked fine. We have a nice leather cushion for that, which is fitted and made specially for that place. Uh, but it's very dark. Well, it comes out as black. It's actually, it's not actually black, but that's how it comes out. I'll be cleaning that up and then re-upholstering straight on top. And that's what that will happen. And a nice top for that too. And then the collar will come in when I start to do panels um, there's a lot of panels in the house which which relieve flat uh, flat areas which are of little um, artistic interest or impact and by putting these different colored panels up you get some interest going like we have here all the same colors different light different effect to the colors they even look different and then you come out into this white area. Now it's um, it's a, a almost black uh, couch. It's all fitted uh, leather look cushions. I very much doubt that's leather, but it certainly feels and looks like it. Um, and that's all fitted there. So that will go in and be an instant impact. I wanted to do a collage of some of our favorite uh, photographs of, uh, of life as we found it here on Bahal and our journey into that as, um, as a collage of pictures. haven't worked out which pictures are going which, but that's what uh, I'm doing. So, there you've got 
the repair work as I said still more to come but we're getting very very close now here we'll have these floor tiles this this is still a little bit on the move because of the facilities tools and and all of that when we first moved in this is actually onto a wooden base so all of these are, are wooden stringers it's a wooden framework that the house is sitting on and we need to fix the floor so there's no creaking and movement but the idea of having the wooden tiles was so that it would accommodate that slight movement and flex we did buy one of those uh, one of those cheap resprayers I think that that came out under uh, I don't know the exact price but under 2000 pesos which is not a great deal uh, James has used that to how much effect um, I'm really not sure but he, he's used it and and got some use out of it I can see where it looks like uh, some spraying was done but afterwards if you look down at these little things that are added here here and there here on on this look at these things here all of those will be uh, in relief with with the different paints which I'll choose as we go along even on here look this will get a different color and then a different color yet again and in contrast to the top there's actually been a lot of work done in here as well but of course it's all ceiling work that's been done let me show you it's all work on the ceiling now you can see the difference between the really detailed work of getting it ready for looking um, finished the dark gaps really spoil it but when you come along and see the work that's been done there then already the gaps are disappearing and the corners are disappearing even had a little bit more light on on this as well I think <clears throat> so this is our day bed uh, a little hangout area we have got uh, an outlet here which would allow us to have uh, radio or even even watch a movie or have a little DVD player um, we could watch a movie here which would be nice but this will be a lot more detailed a little bit like the four poster bed standard of detail so something something that's going on to here and coming across probably might even go to a mosquito net out here uh, just in case we decide we ever want to spend the night here certainly that will be when we have um, some form of drapes or uh, or blinds so that's let you in on what's happening out here um, still in a mess here but we do have the countertop and the sink is all in and functioning and there's running water and we've got one cabinet which while while James was working in here I was able to uh, build that cabinet out on the on the pool deck and I brought it in and we'd already we'd already agreed what the size of, uh, of the of the top was and that was already cut and I made the cabinet to fit that top so that's all installed and that's where I tested that green and I will do the other cabinet in in that green and probably I'll do uh, this desk this is um, uh, though you can't see it at the moment this is actually an area for having breakfast and I'm going to do that in the green as I will on this cabinet here and we're thinking because the uh, the uh, the granite the granite was so cheap that we're going to go to and get another another sheet of, of granite which will do this 
and this because I think there were eight foot sheets and this is eight foot so that's the, the scene out here let me put the lights out here as I walk out I should mention that um, I'm actually going to do some cabinets and there's a little uh, thumbnail sketch there look showing showing this cabinet and it's rough and then above where what would normally be um, wall cabinets I'll come out maybe about maybe the same as here this is about 11 or 12 inches I think I'll come out not quite so far maybe 10 inches and I'll build something this is the window if you look at this uh, little I did this little thing here so that I would know exactly what I was was doing now this you would regard that as say a double cabinet here that's the little serving hatch and then another thinner unit that would go here because what we've got is an opening door on what will be the refrigerator this is a mocked up uh, shelf for the Wi-Fi which we, we also have going there so there's only really space for a very narrow thing there just to balance off so I can put a nice uh, I can do a nice moulding on the top there to, to complete that as an arched piece. That was the idea. So, out with the lights. Over onto here. Uh, it's a lot of information that, that may interest very, very few. <laughs> but uh, I was going to come over and just do this in silence. And Beth said, why don't you do a video? So, that's what I did. So thanks for being with me, thanks for looking, thanks for taking an interest in our little house, our little red house, and uh, I'll say good night for now. Bye for now. Don't forget to like, comment. You can comment on Facebook, uh, you can comment, sorry, on Facebook on anything that we're doing, uh, because I usually put a little um, teaser on Facebook about the stage of the project that we're at so you can always go and do a comment there but you can always come back to YouTube and subscribe which is a big help thanks a lot bye for now